Warren City dispatchers get their pink slips ahead of a merger with Trumbull County 911. And as Trumbull County reporter to Dean Grimley tells us, employees weren't ready for those layoff notices. It came as sort of a surprise for the remaining Warren City dispatchers. There was never no discussion prior, be prepared, this is going to happen. We knew that they were negotiating a contract, but we never knew exactly when this was going to happen. They've been dangling this over our heads for, what, a year or so? They were hand-delivered layoff notices stating effective September 9th, they'd no longer be employed by the city. Whenever there is a reduction in the need or reduction in funds for those positions, the collective bargaining agreement dictates that layoff notices go out 30 days in advance of the anticipated layoff date. And even though the notices included employment offers with Trumbull County 911, the dispatchers in Warren are still concerned about the merge. Now in 30 days, we're out of a job. Yes, they're going to give us a job at the county, which is wonderful, but how are we going to do this? We tried every effort, or made every effort to make sure that this transition is as seamless as possible. We're still worried about the safety of the officers and citizens. Canela Mesa says the anticipated date for Warren's calls to be handled by Trumbull County 911 is September 9th, too. In Warren, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.